Most old school players are pretty familiar with the McDonald's packs from way back in the day, and I would even go as far as to say that many new school players have at least heard of these older packs. Back in 2002, we had the first McDonald's Yu-Gi-Oh pack. This one featured some really awesome cards like Cosmo Queen and Frog the Jam. Then in 2006, we got another one. This time it was based on a Yu-Gi-Oh GX, and we had some cool cards in that one too, like Elemental Hero. Electrum. These days, some of the more popular cards from those older packs are pretty darn expensive, and the sealed packs themselves are not cheap either. These are probably what most people think about when you talk about old Yu-Gi-Oh toys that were featured in kids' meals. But in 2004, so sandwiched between those two different McDonald's packs, Burger King had a line of Yu-Gi-Oh toys that were promoting the Yu-Gi-Oh movie. But the Burger King promotion didn't have any Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh card packs, instead they gave you regular kids meal toys that were based on Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. And for what it's worth, I don't think these have aged nearly as well as the McDonald's packs. People don't really think about these as much, I think they've mostly been forgotten by the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I even owned a few of these back in the day, not a ton of them, but like two or three, and I really hadn't thought about them for a very long time. That was up until last week when Yami Hart posted a couple of these on Twitter, and that got me really nostalgic, so I went on eBay and bought like nine of these Burger King toys, and in today's video we're going to open them. Now I remember back in the day really liking the packaging on this item, so you have these pyramids, it says Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie in theaters August 2004, that's a throwback, and then you have all of the different toys in here, so there are some pretty cool ones that you can pull, you have Exodia, you have Gate Guardian, Time Wizard, Pumpkin would probably be my favorite out of these ones. Now we only have nine of these boxes right here, so we're obviously not going to pull the entire set, but it would be pretty nice to see some of the cooler ones pulled. And uh, yeah, on this side we have Yugi, and then we have the back, which is blank. So these boxes were a pretty cool design. I don't know if they ever repeated it anywhere else with another like promotion, but yeah, these are really cool. I remember having a lot of them back in the day. Also, I'm just gonna rip this open. I hope that doesn't make anyone mad. Um, because inside here, I saw this in the eBay listing, you had these other like triangle boxes that you could make. So this one has, I don't know if they're all the same, but this one has Celtic Guardian, Baby Dragon, uh, Beaver Warrior, that sword tail thing, and then we have, oh my gosh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, or maybe just Relinquished? No, it has a bunch of eyes on it, so Thousand Eyes Restrict. That is crazy, so you can like build these into whatever shapes you want once you get like a whole bunch of them, which is pretty cool. So let's see what this first one has. This is kind of falling apart as I open it, but this one has, oh, what is this? Parrot Dragon, right? That's kind of stuck in there. I believe this is Parrot Dragon. Yeah, it's so funny looking. Oh my gosh, so I think all of these are wind-ups. This one, does it move back and forth? This looks like it would move back and forth. I'm pretty sure it does. That's what that cut is for. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it wants to move. Like, I don't know why it has this. It doesn't seem to like work though. Like it's not doing that at all. <laughs> I don't know why this is so entertaining. So let's see here. Oh, they are different. So this one has Flame Swordsman. Then we have, um, oh, what is that called? Uh, Castle of Illusions, yes. And then we have, um, whatever that is, that's the Trap Monster. And then Karibo, that's pretty cool. And Blue Eyes White Dragon. I did not remember that every single one of these was going to be different. That is pretty nice. This one has Big Shield Gardna right there. Big Shield Gardna. So does this one move? No, this one doesn't even have like a thing right there. I mean, should I wind them all up? It's pretty much the same thing every single time, right? <laughs> they just go off the screen. Oh my gosh. It's not even like just the fact that they're uh, Yu-Gi-Oh wind-up toys. It's just in general, I haven't opened a wind-up toy in a long time. That really does bring me back to the good old days. Oh, what does this one have? Save $3? Wait, what? When you buy one new movie monster, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Wait, these have coupons? Let's see, the expiration date is December 31st. 2004, so I think we just missed that by a few months, but uh, you know, it shows you like directions for how to wind up the toy, that's great. Not all of them had that discount, that's actually a pretty cool coupon. Rare coupon pulled in today's video, pretty nice. Okay, so this one has, I don't 
know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be Twin-Headed King Rex? And that's little Rex Raptor down there, so it probably is Twin-Headed King Rex. I actually had not noticed the uh, anime characters in the bottom corners. This one is Drillago, I think that's how that's pronounced. This one is Arcananite Joker. And then we have uh, Tiger Axe. Gosh, these are kind of hard to remember sometimes. And then is that Dark Paladin on the back? That is pretty cool looking. I think that's Dark Paladin. Kind of hard to tell a little bit. But uh, anyway, this one has, what the hell? Giant Soldier of Stone. This one looks kind of boring. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I mean, I don't know what else they could have done with Giant Soldier of Stone, but I feel like it could have been a little bit better in my opinion. Okay, so moving on here. I'm glad that we're actually pulling all different ones that does make me pretty happy i was like a little bit worried that i would just pull like seven parrot dragons in a row and then two of like a random one. Oh, this one's gold did we get like a crazy pull is this the legendary exodia and this one does have the uh, coupon as well so we can we now have six dollars off our uh, <laughs> blue eyes shining dragon so as a gold one we have uh relinquished this time then we have gamma the magnet warrior uh kraken something what is this card called i don't know and then we have oh that's zombie dragon okay that makes sense and then we have exodia on the bottom does that mean this is exodia in here i don't know but it would be pretty exciting or gate guardian it's karibo <laughs> okay i mean sure okay that's actually pretty adorable <laughs> Look at this little guy. I was looking forward to a Gate Guardian or like an Exodia, but you know what? Karibo looks pretty darn funny as well. Look at that little dude. He's so cute. <laughs> I did not realize that there were gold pyramids. I must have never pulled one uh, back in the day. So it's pretty cool to see that here. <laughs> there he goes. I'm afraid of them just like flying off the table. So I'm trying to not uh, wind them up too much. Okay, next one. Oh my gosh, another gold one. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. This time we have, what even is that? Horn Imp, I think. And then uh, La Jin and Harpy's Pet Dragon. Uh, I think that's supposed to be Insect Queen. Kind of a weird design for Insect Queen, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. And then on the bottom we have Valkyrian. That's a pretty cool uh, card there. What do we pull out of here? Beaver Warrior. Okay, maybe the gold pyramid doesn't actually mean anything. I was thinking maybe with Karibo, like, okay, that makes sense. Karibo is a pretty iconic monster, but Beaver Warrior being in a gold pyramid must mean that uh, gold pyramids don't really matter. Look at that. <laughs> is that like they messed up on the paint there? I don't even know. But there we go. We have Beaver Warrior. Do I really have to wind up each one of these? I feel like you guys kind of know what they do at this point. So maybe I don't need to wind up each one. Just kidding. We were always winding up every single one. There we go, we did it. Okay, so four more boxes here. Oh my gosh, we are pulling a lot of these coupons. That's pretty cool though. So the coupons must have not been that rare because we've gotten like three of them and we've only opened uh, six or yeah, six of them. Baby Dragon, the sword dinosaur thing again, Beaver Warrior, which we just pulled, Celtic Guardian, and then uh, on the bottom, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Okay, so that was the exact same lineup as that one time, right? So maybe each pyramid is exactly, oh, okay. And this one has parrot dragon again so i think the pyramids actually do tell you which one you're going to pull because the other parrot dragon pyramid was exactly the same so this one we have a new one okay big shield gardna and then i don't is that supposed to be gear freed i actually don't know what this artwork is trying to show i thought it was gear freed but it has like an axe i really don't know which card that is supposed to be um this one is i don't no either what the hell is this <laughs> i can't even tell what's going on there who knows and then we have pendulum machine pendulums b skull dragon which is pretty cool because it shows joey and yugi there on the bottom for the characters okay so let's see what this one has we have oh rocket warrior that's kind of interesting wow that is very orange on the base holy crap that's orange okay so we have <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> they couldn't have given him like a little bit more detail doesn't he have like <laughs> what <laughs> okay i'm trying to picture rocket warrior i guess he doesn't have a mouth but like this looks so funny it looks like unfinished <laughs> oh my gosh that card is so funny oh gosh go get him rocket warrior wait a second that one's not super fast moving okay so we have two more pyramids left can we pull that pumpkin or exodia 
I don't think so, but we pulled another coupon, so I'm about to call up Konami and ask for my Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Also, I kind of destroyed this one as I opened it. It's Baby Dragon! Let's go! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so we have Time Wizard. This is like falling apart. Time Wizard, uh, Great Moth, and then... Oh, what is that guy called? Battle Warrior, I think? Uh, slot machine, and then on the bottom we have good old Dark Magician. These pyramids are like super frustrating to uh, <laughs> handle, by the way. They just are constantly falling apart. So we have Baby Dragon. Look at that little guy. Okay, go for it, Baby Dragon. <laughs> Perfect. I've been kind of cautious about like winding these up because <laughs> There he goes. I've been kind of cautious about winding this up because I'm gonna be honest with you guys The first two that I wound up went way too far and uh, I was afraid of them knocking stuff over or falling off the table like I mentioned earlier Okay, the last pyramid here. Oh my gosh. We are ending it on a gold one. This is uh, pretty crazy So we have oh, it's the same one, right? That's the same exact. So this is another Karibo, I think or maybe the gold ones are different where it can have anything. No, it's another Karibo. We got the Karibo brother right here. Dang, I mean, it's cool ending on like a gold one, but I wish I would have pulled a new one for the last little pyramid there. But yeah, we got this pyramid and of course I will wind them up even though we already have one. Oh my gosh, these are so funny. But uh, anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, did I wind up the second parrot dragon? I can't remember, but uh, We'll send them on a little journey there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you later. Goodbye.